it just seems like as every game goes on that you're just getting more and more comfortable with this system. It seems like you're facilitating the offense while you're getting fired up on defense. I guess, what have you kind of learned through these first five games that's allowed you to fit in so well? I think it's just Fran lets everybody play free and with freedom comes confidence. So it's just keep building confidence every day in practice and during these games. I think it just shows. What? It shows as a team, too. Why has the press worked so well for you guys with you and Sedu up there on the top? I think we just want to get steals. I, mean, I just don't think we want them to score. Um, it's just our will. We're posing our will on the other team. Drew, playing this type of defense without arguably your best defender in, in Josh, do you think that kind of speaks to the team's depth definitely, there? Definitely. I think to a man, we can all get it done. You just got to choose to do it. Uh, having JD helps, definitely helps a lot, but we just got to get it done as a team effort. You met 14 to 2 run. You guys had to pull away in the first half. You had three assists on the seven field goals. What's allowing you to see the floor as well as you have? Again, going back to the freedom. Everybody sprints and runs, so it makes my life a lot easier. When you, when you entered the portal, was freedom a big thing you were looking for just in terms of switching up the style you play? Because I think in Moorhead State, I mean, you guys ran a lot yeah. more set plays than the freedom. So I guess how attractive was that now that you're fully ingrained in the system, you feel just comfortable and kind of feel like you're yourself right now. Definitely. I think I wanted to change it up from just being so set heavy um, and just having a little bit more freedom just so I can play a little bit faster. But uh, that's definitely something I looked at when I was in the world. Does you, that background you, have any benefits for you, that set heavy background? Definitely. You know, time and score and then uh, just coming down crunch time, you know, when you do have to execute, uh, locking in on those plays for sure. You and Brock have been playing a little minutes together. Do you, get, do you like Playing, I love I love playing, what do you like? He's so fun, and he gives me a break from bringing the ball up. So it's great. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I love it. You like playing off the ball then? I love playing. Whatever coach wants me to do, I, I get it done. But um, it just gives me a break. That's really why I like it so a lot. Drew, in the first half, there's a stretch of about five minutes where you guys didn't score from the floor. I think it was when they switched to a zone. What was giving you guys fits? I think we were just stagnant on offense. We weren't moving as much, and then once we got back to moving and pushing the ball. Um, how do you feel like – what do you feel like you bring to the team from a defensive standpoint? You guys only allowed one three-pointer, and it just seemed like Ryder didn't get off that many clean looks. Is the perimeter defense, how connected do you guys kind of feel right now with everything? Uh, well, they know I came from a defensive school, so definitely whenever I get subbed in or whenever I get to the game, my mindset is always, let's get stops. So I think it just carries over to the rest of the guys on the court, and uh, that's really what it is. Since they only scored three fast break points, too, uh, how much of that is like what – how they operate versus what you guys were doing? I think it's just us taking good shots. Um, if we take good shots, it's hard for them to push and transition. So, you know, we know someone's going to shoot it. We start getting back and we send the right guys to the glass. It just helps that way. How much does having, I mean, I don't want to call Sadie a point four, but how much does he help when you guys are, are being pressed on the opposite side? It just seems like when you guys have a really good thing going to break that press and Sadie is very confident in his dribbling ability and just kind of taking a little bit of pressure off of you. I mean, it helps a lot. I mean, you can't send two guys to me and then leave Sadie open because he gets a full head of steam. And you guys saw tonight, he takes two steps, he's above the rim. So, how bad you want that dunk in the second half? I wanted it bad. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I didn't see him coming. I wanted it bad. Obviously, what was the adjustment like when just adjusting to like from a free flowing offense? What was the challenge with that kind of effort? I think I was so in my mindset, so set heavy, set heavy, and I was thinking, oh, we got to run a set here, or I got to pull it back out, and call it something. Um, and that's not the case. It's just play, move, cut, pass, freedom. What do you think of Seydoux? What do you think he'll do for this program? Uh, a lot of things. I mean, as long as he stays focused and keeps working hard, the sky's the limit for that kid. How have you seen this defense grow since you got an eye? Obviously, you and Seydoux, kind of the newcomers, and they can keep part of that. Uh, well, it was funny you said that because the first thing I heard when I walked into the, the film room was, uh, we kept them under 60. So uh, I definitely think it's a big step in the right direction. Did you, did you think Sadie's poster dunk was going down? And have you seen him do that a few times? And I have seen him do it a lot. Um, I thought it was going down. Um, I'm going to talk to him after because there's no way he doesn't tell us to practice and doesn't do it in the game. So I got to give him one for that one. But I thought it was going. Did you fall victim to? No, I'm not jumping with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting out of the way. I'm getting out of the way. Drew, in, in, talk about you being a transfer. Talk about you and Sadie coming in at the same time. It kind of seems like, like you two have been able to cultivate a bit of a relationship with the fans and, and you bring a spark to the court. Can you, can you feel that? I know we talked about that after Moline too, but I saw you hyping up the crowd tonight too. Are you getting a sense of that, that you're building that, that sort of relationship with the fans? Yeah, I think we just, we're having fun. You know, being new guys, we just want to have fun and just fit in and I think we're doing that.
fine. All right, thanks, Drew. Thank you.